Good afternoon, everybody. This is Gail Masunda with History Quick. And in this unit study, we've been talking about the life of Louis Prang, a very interesting man who, among other things, is considered the father of the American Christmas card. There'll be links to that entire unit down below. Uh, so take a look at that when you get a chance. But as part of that unit study, we're going to be talking about how to make Christmas cards and the sentiments, the, the messages that you write is in there and a little lesson on how to actually properly address an envelope. But even when you get everything done like that, sometimes you just want to add a little piece of special artwork. And to show us how to do that special artwork, I've invited my very good friend Becky Saylor to be with us today. And she's going to show us how to do some doodles for Christmas that we can either put on our Christmas card, or maybe we could even make an entire card with some of these, just whatever you feel inspired to do. So Becky, show us how to do some Christmas doodles. Yay. So I have um, four five easy doodles for you that you can add flair and personality to your cards. Um, you can add them to the outside of your envelopes or on the inside with your signature, super fun stuff. The first one that we're gonna do, it, I have two kinds of stars for you. The first one, and forgive my, forgive my cast, my first one is a star that you start with a triangle and then you make two lines out to the side. And then you just come in to create that triangular shape and then two more triangular bumps with hand-drawn doodles. They don't have to be perfect. So I love that about doodles. And to make, <laughs> right? It's not about making it doodle, but you make it, sh I mean, not about perfection. It's about adding personality and that personal touch. So you make them shine by adding those little shine marks. Another type of star, is with, it's kind of the nativity star where you make the long skinny points off to the side. And then you can add extra little triangle bumps in there. And again, with the little shine marks. So you can add your little Christmas star or a traditional star, easy peasy. Um, the next one is a candle. Candles are wonderful. And they're, they're super easy. You do an oval. And then you create a little cylinder with two lines straight down, a slight curve. And then to make the wick and the flame, you make a line right in the middle of the oval. You just make a wick straight up. And then you can add the flame on there. And oh, you can make some little smoke coming from the candle too. Um, and then the last two doodles are a mitt, this kind of a mitt. It's kind of shaped like the state of Michigan. So it has the thumb and then actually it's totally shaped like Michigan. So a mitten with the cuff and the lines to show the stretchy cuff on the mitten. And then the very last one, I'll do kind of big, sorry for the lighting. Um, a circle, you would want to make this smaller or take up however big. Sorry for the lighting. Let me hold this light. Nope, never mind. I tried to make it better. I made it worse. Okay, so <laughs> circle. And then you do almost like a rectangular shape on top. And then a little loop where you can attach your little string to your ball. And then inside the ball, or inside your mitten, that's where you get to add your creativity. So you can decorate this any way you want. You can add swirls to make a pattern across the ball. You can add zigzags, or you can add shapes inside to add personality, happy faces, anything you want. And you can do the same thing inside your gloves as you're decorating your gloves. So super easy, super fun, little doodles add just a touch of personality to those holiday cards. That is fantastic, Becky. As you were drawing those, several different things came to mind. I, I kept thinking, I don't consider myself very good at drawing, but by breaking it down into those little individual pieces, I can do each one of those pieces. And so then I can watch the video, I can stop it and then practice it. And that may be the other key is to be willing to practice it and do it over and over again. And I imagine that one would get better with this, just like you do anything else that you practice too. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Plus it's fun. There's something sweet and magical about doing a quick little drawing and then adding some personality to it. I, I love doodles. I think they're great. So well, I know you do a lot of them. Tell us just a moment about the, the doodle clubhouse for kids. What all do you do in there? This is an accidental magical piece that we created online where once a week, I release a new set of step-by-step -step videos specifically for children, but our oldest kids are um, 50 and 51. My sister and myself are the oldest doodlers inside the group. Median age between five and 10. And what we do is we get a theme. Last week was woodland. And I open every doodle lesson with some hand exercises and some some fun scribbly type things to get our fingers moving. And then step by step break down little drawings so that kids can get instant mastery over the drawing. But then also they learn that they don't have to be perfect. I tell everybody to draw with pen because if you draw with pencil, you feel like you need to use the magic eraser end on the pencil. So we draw with pen mm -hmm. and then it's just about following your hand and your heart and making these little things come to life. And it's super fun. So I think we have, we have, we're up to about a hundred doodles so far inside in the lessons and the kids love it. So it's the doodle clubhouse for kids. And we also have a little Facebook group where the kids can share their creations too. Super fun. Okay, well, I'll put links for that down below. That sounds like an awful lot of a of a fun thing to do. And I would bet that Becky, as well as I, would love to see some of the Christmas cards that you guys create using these doodles. Yes. Okay, guys, uh, again, all the links will be down below for the, for the Doodle Clubhouse, for the History Quick Lessons and all of that. You'll find that down below. And as always, you know, we, we talk about history and it's history is something that happens in the past, but we don't live there. Go out and be awesome today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.